Welcome back everybody to Hayes Tech and ROM Reviews. Uh, I wanted to go over the Moto Plus 4 or the Moto E4 Plus, that's what it's called. Um, I just received this uh, device yesterday from Motorola uh, and I wanted to do a quick unboxing. Uh, like I said uh, before guys, I don't normally do unboxings. Um, I just, I kind of don't like the way they're done on TV, and I think it's kind of stupid, but I did want you guys to see what comes in the box uh, when you buy it. Uh, that way there's no surprises whatsoever. Now, uh, this is not what you're going to get if you go to Walmart or Target, um, any of the um, outlet stores uh, that are selling these for, you know, well under $100. Uh, I think they're like $99 for the Plus, uh, the Moto E 4 Plus. Um, that's if you get it at a department store under a carrier label, like uh, Verizon's Pay As You Go, Straight Talk, uh, Walmart's Plan, I think which is kind of Straight Talk, um, Boost Mobile, stuff like that. Uh, those are going to be the cheaper ones. Now the problem with those are you're going to have issues if you want to unlock the bootloader on these and flash a custom ROM later on, uh, you know, flash a twerp recovery, uh, stuff like that, you will have problems with it. Um, on a lot of them. There are a very few. You have to look at the model numbers on them, which I'll show you where to go to find that. And it has to be unlockable. Uh, the best way to find out is go to Motorola's web, is go to Motorola's website, uh, go under support, uh, check for can my device uh, be bootloader unlocked. <laughs> There's a section there for that. And uh, basically, I think you type in your serial number um, and it, it'll tell you if it's, you know, capable possibly. Uh, and there's a long procedure to do it. It's not, it's not that long. Uh, it's just a couple extra steps that are, you know, like, it's not like the one plus one, which is very easy. Anyways, I want to move on with this. Um, this is what you're going to get in the box. And I'm not going to do this like a lot of the other guys are. Um, but it's going to come in a very, very, very plain box like this. I mean, I guess I should have done that first. Um, it's kind of, it's a very simple cardboard box. Uh, it actually came in a huge box. Uh, I don't know why Motorola would have sent it like that, but um, it, it's, it just comes in a very simple, non-ornate uh, package, um, which is the phone and the charger. Uh, I'll tell you guys right now. I mean, I was looking at it to see what all came with it, um, and it's simplicity at its best. Um, you basically get the phone. Uh, we'll pull the phone out here, like that. I did opt for the gold. Um, and then also in the box, if you lift this up, Hello Moto, uh, you are going to get a charging brick, which is identical, actually, to the to the one that comes on, uh, or the one that came with my Moto E4 um, that I did the, the uh, review on, I think, last week. Uh, which I'm going to show you guys a little bit of size comparison, uh, so so that you uh, so that you know the differences between the two. Uh, came with that. Came with your standard uh, USB, and this is a standard. This is not a Type C. It's just a standard USB. Um, and since these bricks are identical, I'm actually using uh, the charger that came with my E4. Uh, it also comes with a book. Um, this is your startup book, little manual, um, nothing over the top, uh, you know, just basic stuff you might need to know about your phone. Uh, I haven't even opened it. I think it's crazy, but eh. And then, of course, your safety, regulatory, and legal papers, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Anyways, oh, uh, by the way, guys, I'm doing this video today. I'm using my uh, uh, OnePlus 5 uh, that... Uh, John Cavanaugh gave to the uh, community. Thank you again, John. Um, I wanted to test the camera out and see if it was any good for doing videos like this because I've been using my um, my LG, so my LG V10. So we're going to get the box out of the way. Um, I want to bring the phone up here, let you guys see what it looks like. We'll go with the back first. Um, as you guys can see, uh, it's got the uh, camera, and um, I do have specs. Up, and I'll go over the specs here shortly uh, but that's the camera and like I said I did opt for the gold I just like gold better than the black um, you do have your uh, volume button right here or your power button here your volume buttons here and I notice they do serrate uh, the power button just like they did on the e4 um, 
you have a, a 3.5 millimeter head jack on the top uh, nothing on the I guess that would be the left side of the device and on the bottom you have your um, your USB uh, cable connection and of course your exterior mic also on the back I think there's also on the back there's a mic I don't know if you guys can see that uh, right there uh, is also an external mic uh, and I'm pretty sure that that is for the camera now again guys I said before about the moto products uh, especially the e-line I'm gonna get rid of this screen saver here quick um, they are a budget phone but it's amazing what you guys are getting on this phone for the cost. Now, this phone here from Motorola uh, is going to run about, uh, actually, they, they advertise it for like 189 190 something like that, I think, or $199, uh, because this is the 32 gig internal storage, um, and, uh, and it, it's the plus, obviously. Uh, but I did opt for the 32 as opposed to the 16 gig, uh, just because I wanted that extra storage this time. Um, and uh, they, for, even though it was advertised at 199, they gave me money off of it for some reason. I got it for like uh, one, um, I think it was 160, uh, to, you know, and and that was with shipping and everything. So it was a pretty good price. Um, but anyways, there's your home button, and the home button works great. Uh, I'll set it up for you guys, let you see how quick it is. Uh, but again, the features on it, um, it has a front flash right here for taking selfies and yes it were it's great it takes I mean the camera's not what I would consider you know one plus five or LG V10 or you know like that but it's a pretty good camera uh, it will definitely do what you need it to do it does have the um, uh, you know the LED flash again on the back as a standard camera would on any phone um, I like it it feels like metal uh, it actually gets very cold when it's cold out so I'm almost positive it's made of metal uh, I know that most of the chassis is metal. And what we're going to do is, if you notice right here in this corner, there's a little spot for you to put your fingernail. And you put your fingernail in there. And I, I'm going to do this off camera because it's very, very hard to do. So I'm going to slide the uh, OnePlus, or listen to me. I'm going to slide the Moto, um, Moto E4 standard out there so you guys have something to look at while I'm ripping this back off. Now basically what I do is I start my fingernail the whole way around it. I pull down on that little tab. Or that little hole I showed you guys just to get it started uh, and then once it starts to pull away then I just run my finger around it like that my finger now kind of opens it up and unlike and then that just pops right off uh, as you guys can see um, I am almost positive that's metal yeah it's it's definitely uh, aluminum made of aluminum so um, it's that's light but this is heavy and why is that uh, that is because of this 5,000 milliamp battery that comes with it, and is not it is not a removable battery. Uh, they even tell you do not remove the battery. So, uh, but this is going to be where your SIM card goes, and I already have my SIM in it. I did power it up once, but I did a power re or a uh, factory reset so you guys could see what this device looks like uh, when powered up. Um, it will also take a SD card uh, expandable to uh, um, I think it goes to 256 gigabytes. Um, but I, I know for a fact that it, it will at least do 128 gigabytes, so it, it's got plenty of room, um, and that's pretty much it. So, uh, but this is the big difference between the two: 5,000 milliamp, and this one has a 2,800 milliamp battery. And if I open this one up, I'll show you guys the difference. Um, I know some of you are going to ask me what would I what would I recommend to get uh, the plus or the uh, standard E4. Um, to be honest with you guys, I would go the extra money for the plus. But if you guys really cannot afford it, this is an outstanding device. Uh, I've left. I actually gave it. I'm, I'm letting my granddaughter use this device uh, because I want to see how rugged it's going to be. So every time she comes over, she grabs it. And she's uh, watching videos on it. She's playing her games. And so far, the E4, the standard one, not the Plus, but the standard one, so far is just doing great. Um, but again, the difference is uh, this battery you can remove. So, you know, I'm, I'm guessing you can get extra batteries. Um, you know, I, I'm not sure if they sell a charger for these. I, I'm pretty sure Anchor probably does. 
Okay, I'm going to go ahead and power this one up now. And if I get it to power up. There we go. And I might as well power that one up too, just so we have it. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and let them, uh, you know, do their whole power up thing uh, on the side there. Um, again, uh, if you guys were to ask me which one to get, I would probably opt with the OnePlus 4, or the, uh, listen to me, man, the Moto E4 Plus as opposed to the Moto E4. Even though they both have 720p screens, uh, this one is a little bit bigger. Um, this is a 5 inch, this is 5.5. Um, I was going to tell you a whole bunch of specs. Uh, I do have the website brought up. Um, let me see if I can bring up uh, specs for it. But um, It's like a 1.4 gigahertz around there. A quad core processor. Uh, this one is Qualcomm. Um, so yes, there's a twerp available for this. Uh, this is a Qualcomm. I'm pretty sure uh, they make two of them. The MediaTek and the Qualcomm. And it, that's different processors, guys. Just so you're aware of that. And you need to know that. Uh, if you guys are going to unlock your bootloaders and flash a uh, custom recovery on it like Twerp, you have to know that. Um, because there are two different Twerps. You flash the wrong one, you've just screwed your device. Um, so this one is the uh, the Qualcomm. Um, and I think it's a 435. Uh, if I'm, not, I'm almost positive it's a 435. <laughs> yes. Um, so I'm going to set this up real quick. And I'm going to pause this and uh, then we'll go from there. But... Um, that's pretty much it. It's got a nice bright screen, um, and I'll see you in a minute here. All right, um, I went ahead and booted it up. Uh, this is what we have, um, <laughs> and I obviously am connected to it. Um, it's seeing my notifications. I do want to turn it down so it's in silent mode. Um, but the screen is nice and bright. Um, it's you know this is what comes you know, factory reset, you know, as soon as you start it up, these are, this is what's going to come with it. Uh, it's basic Android, I would say, um, very, un, you know, uh, like you would see normal Android, like uh, AOSP. Um, it does have some bloatware on it, but most of them are the Motorola apps, which uh, I like. I think it helps, uh, helps a lot, adds to the phone if you hit the Moto app there. Let me put this down here and do it this way. Um, like that. Whoops, I don't want to go there. We're going to go back. All right, let me zoom in a little bit so you guys can see that a little better. There we go. All right, uh, if I hit that Motorola app, uh, it's going to bring up a Welcome to Moto. Uh, you hit the Start. It's going to give you some other options. Uh, if you scroll over, Moto Display, uh, of course, you have your Moto Actions. Uh, go ahead and you go, you, you say you got it. Uh, yes, I'm in. Um, and allow permissions. Uh, first one is the Moto Actions. If you uh, expand that, it's going to show you that you have the uh, one button nav bar. Uh, so actually, basically what it's going to do is going to get rid of the nav bar. And I'll show you. I'll slide it up a little bit so you guys can see the home button. Or actually, let me zoom out a little bit. There we go. Uh, so if I enable that, uh, what that does is gives you one touch. And it kind of sends you through like a, a tutorial uh, that you have to go through. Uh, go ahead and try it. Uh, it says uh, to go home, uh, hit the home button, try it. it. says great, you did it, hit next. To go back, you have to swipe that way, so do it. It says, you know, it lets you know when you get it right. Now it's to open recents, slide this way on the home button. Next. Uh, and then it's to lock screen, you touch and hold it. Like that. Next. Uh, then it says to launch assistant, touch and hold for a while. See? and uh, turn it on. So you can turn it on that way so then all your functions would be right from that back back just like that. It's nice because if you think about it now you've freed up a lot of your uh, screen space so you know you don't have to have you don't have to worry about having the nav bars down there it just frees up uh, some of your real estate. Myself I actually kinda like that uh, I like having the nav bar show so I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off uh, but you also have swipe uh, to shrink screen. If you turn that on, uh, basically what that allows you to do is you swipe. Let me show you here. Um, if we open an app like, let's say, Play Store, uh, you should be able to pull from any of these. All right, it, it's not going to work that way. Anyways, it does have that feature in it. 
<laughs> uh, under motor display, it basically gives you night display, which I have turned off. Um, if you turn it on, uh, it, it just kind of changes it uh, as, you know, the daytime goes on. You kind of get like an orangish or something that's supposed to be easier on the eyes. I actually don't like that feature. Yeah, I don't know why it's saying that. Uh, I don't like that feature, so I leave it off. Uh, then you do have the motor display, uh, which basically gives you, it's an ambient, um, which it is on by default. So if you have any... If you have any displays, uh, if the device sits there for a little bit and you go to pick it up, you notice how it comes on. Uh, that's your ambient. That's going to tell you if you have any notifications at all. Uh, it does have the. Uh, it does have the double tap for camera. No, it's not. Okay, it's not set up, but you can set it up for double tap for camera. Um, and speaking of camera, let's go ahead and bring that up quickly before I run out of time. Uh, I don't want this video to be too long. Um, camera. Okay. Uh, click next. Uh, Max, quick capture. Yep, I turned it on. Uh, that was with the, the. You have to actually turn it on right. Oops, right here. If you swipe over, you're going to get settings. Go ahead and turn that on. That is for quick capture. For you know, you press the power button twice. Uh, save location. No, I don't want that on. Um, you do have your settings for. Um, you know, for your megapixels and stuff. It's already set to the best. Uh, video uh, video is 1080p it does not record in 4k you know it's not an expensive device so that's what you're going to get but 1080p is fine for most videos that uh, people are going to do um, right now it is in camera mode I'm going to try to do this without screwing too much up and we'll take some pictures as you guys can see, it takes pictures, um, and if you go if you go like this and hit that, it goes to video, press record, and you know whatever, hit stop. Um, we go back. I think I could have just swiped over for the gallery. So if I swipe over, yes, the gallery. So it works. Um, so everything there is working great. All right. So final thoughts before I close this out. Uh, what do I think of the cam or what do I think of this device? I think that if you are looking for a budget-priced phone, you don't have the money to go out and get a OnePlus, um, or say you're on Verizon and you can't use a OnePlus, this is a good device to get. Um, I, I very highly recommend Motorola products. If you are looking for a device that you want to root, you want to unlock the bootloader and throw a custom ROM on it, uh, Motorola products, if you purchase them from Motorola, and I, I put that caveat in there because you can find them out, out you know, at Walmart and, and uh, at some of the other places for cheap that you can unlock your bootloader, but you have to be very, very careful because if you get the wrong one, you're going to be stuck with a device that you can't unlock your bootloader. So if you are looking for that, I would go directly to Motorola. I would purchase from them. You get a device from them. It is an international uh, or the U.S. variant, what they call unlocked, which will work with uh, both CDMA and GSM, basically all carriers, Verizon, Sprint, Boost Mobile, all of them. So um, that's pretty much it, guys. I wanted to get this out, let you see what's there, what's in the box, the differences between that and the standard uh, E4. Uh, if you liked the video, uh, please give it a thumbs up. I want to thank all of my subscribers, and I will see you all on the next one. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and power this one up now. And if I get it to power up. There we go. And I might as well power that one up, too. Just so we have it. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and let them, uh, you know, do their whole power-up thing uh, on the side there. Um, again, uh, if you guys were to ask me which one to get, I would probably opt with the OnePlus 4, or the, uh, listen to me, man. 
the Moto E4 Plus as opposed to the Moto E4. Even though they both have 720p screens, uh, this one is a little bit bigger. Um, this is a 5 inch, this is 5.5. Um, I was going to tell you a whole bunch of specs. Uh, I do have the website brought up. Um, let me see if I can bring up uh, specs for it. But um, It's like a 1.4 gigahertz around there. A quad core processor. Uh, this one is Qualcomm. Um, so yes, there's a twerp available for this. Uh, this is a Qualcomm. I'm pretty sure uh, they make two of them, the MediaTek and the Qualcomm. And it, that's different processors, guys, just so you're aware of that. And you need to know that. Uh, if you guys are going to unlock your bootloaders and flash a uh, custom recovery on it like Twerp, you have to know that. Um, because there are two different Twerps. You flash the wrong one, you've just screwed your device. Um, so this one is the uh, the Qualcomm. Um, and I think it's a 435. Uh, if I'm, not, I'm almost positive it's a 435. <laughs> yes. Um, so I'm going to set this up real quick. And I'm going to pause this and uh, then we'll go from there. But... Um, that's pretty much it. It's got a nice bright screen, um, and I'll see you in a minute here. All right, um, I went ahead and booted it up. Uh, this is what we have, um, <laughs> and I obviously am connected to it. Um, it's seeing my notifications. I do want to turn it down so it's in silent mode. Um, but the screen is nice and bright. Um, it's you know this is what comes you know, factory reset, you know, as soon as you start it up, these are, this is what's going to come with it. Uh, it's basic Android, I would say, um, very, un, you know, uh, like you would see normal Android, like uh, AOSP. Um, it does have some bloatware on it, but most of them are the Motorola apps, which uh, I like. I think it helps, uh, helps a lot, adds to the phone if you hit the Moto app there. Let me put this down here and do it this way. Um, like that. Whoops, I don't want to go there. We're going to go back. All right, let me zoom in a little bit so you guys can see that a little better. There we go. All right, uh, if I hit that Motorola app, uh, it's going to bring up a Welcome to Moto. Uh, you hit the start. It's going to give you some other options. Uh, if you scroll over, Moto Display, uh, of course, you have your Moto Actions. Uh, go ahead and you go, say you got it. Uh, yes, I'm in. Um, and allow permissions. Uh, first one is the Moto Actions. If you uh, expand that, it's going to show you that you have the uh, one button nav bar. Uh, so actually, basically what it's going to do is going to get rid of the nav bar. And I'll show you. I'll slide it up a little bit so you guys can see the home button. Or actually, let me zoom out a little bit. There we go. Uh, so if I enable that, uh, what that does is gives you one touch. And it kind of sends you through like a, a tutorial uh, that you have to go through. Uh, go ahead and try it. Uh, it says uh, to go home, uh, hit the home button, try it. it. says great, you did it, hit next. To go back, you have to swipe that way, so do it. It says, you know, it lets you know when you get it right. Now it's to open recents, slide this way on the home button. Next. Uh, and then it's to lock screen, you touch and hold it. Like that. Next. Uh, then it says to launch assistant, touch and hold for a while. See? And uh, turn it on. So you can turn it on that way. So then all your functions would be right from that back, back, just like that. It's nice because if you think about it, now you've freed up a lot of your uh, screen space. So you know you don't have to have you don't have to worry about having the nav bars down there. It just frees up uh, some of your real estate. Myself, I actually kind of like that. Uh, I like having the nav bar show. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. Uh, but you also have swipe uh, to shrink screen. If you turn that on, uh, basically what that allows you to do is you swipe. Let me show you here. Um, if we open an app like, let's say, Play Store, uh, you should be able to pull from any of these. All right, it, it's not going to work that way. Anyways, it does have that feature in it. <laughs> Uh, motor, under motor display, it basically gives you night display, which I have turned off. Um, if you turn it on, uh, it, it just kind of changes it uh, as, you know, the daytime goes on. You kind of get like an orangish or something that's supposed to be easier on the eyes. I actually don't like that feature. Yeah, I don't know why it's saying that. Uh, I don't like that feature, so I leave it off. Uh, then you do have the motor display. Uh, which basically gives you, it's an ambient, um, which it is on by default. 
So if you have any, if you have any displays, uh, it's, if the device sits there for a little bit and you go to pick it up, you notice how it comes on. Uh, that's your ambient. That's going to tell you if you have any notifications at all. Uh, it does have the. Uh, it does have the double tap for camera. No, it's not. Okay, it's not set up, but you can set it up for double tap for camera. Um, and speaking of camera, let's go ahead and bring that up quickly before I run out of time. Uh, I don't want this video to be too long. Um, camera. Okay. Uh, click next. Uh, next. Quick capture. Yep, I turned it on. Uh, that was with the, the. You have to actually turn it on right. Oops. Right here. If you swipe over, you're going to get settings. Go ahead and turn that on. That is for quick capture. For you know, you press the power button twice. Uh, save location. No, I don't want that on. Um, you do have your settings for. Um, you know, for your megapixels and stuff, it's already set to the best. Uh, video, uh, video is 1080p. It does not record in 4K. You know, it's not an expensive device, so that's what you're going to get. But 1080p is fine for most videos that uh, people are going to do. Um, right now, it is in camera mode. I'm going to try to do this without screwing too much up, and we'll take some pictures. As you guys can see, it takes pictures, um, and if you go if you go like this and hit that, it goes to video, press record, and you know whatever, hit stop. Um, we go back. I think I could have just swiped over for the gallery. So if I swipe over, yes, the gallery. So it works. Um, so everything there is working great. All right. So final thoughts before I close this out. Uh, what do I think of the can or what do I think of this device? I think that if you are looking for a budget priced phone, you don't have the money to go out and get a One Plus, um, or say you're on Verizon and you can't use a One Plus, this is a good device to get. Um, I, I very highly recommend Motorola products. If you are looking for a device that you want to root, you want to unlock the bootloader and throw a custom ROM on it, uh, Motorola products, if you purchase them from Motorola, and I, I put that caveat in there because you can find them out, out you know, at Walmart and, and uh, at some of the other places for cheap that you can unlock your bootloader, but you have to be very, very careful because if you get the wrong one, you're going to be stuck with a device that you can't unlock your bootloader. So if you are looking for that, I would go directly to Motorola. I would purchase from them. You get a device from them. It is an international uh, or the U.S. variant, what they call unlocked, which will work with uh, both CDMA and GSM, basically all carriers, Verizon, Sprint, Boost Mobile, all of them. So um, that's pretty much it, guys. I wanted to get this out, let you see what's there, what's in the box, the differences between that and the standard uh, E4. Uh, if you liked the video, uh, please give it a thumbs up. I want to thank all of my subscribers, and I will see you all on the next one.